Luisao Fuentes says, Big O, can we fire Pat Riley from bringing every year Haslam to the detriment of the Heat? How bad will the Heat uh, with all those old people, 50 million for a guy who can't shoot three points were bad? Um, were you saying that last year when they were in the finals to fire Pat Riley? Even when Udonis Haslam was on the roster? We're talking about the 15th man on the roster. When is the 15th man on the roster the difference maker for your NBA team? Think about that. Okay? Don't overreact, bro. <laughs> and you know what it is? I tell Luisao Fuentes, like I would tell a lot of other fans that have come to me this way, I can disagree with some of the things Pat Riley does. The re-signing of Butler for $184 million. I'm not a fan of that. But I'm also not going to sit here and not be appreciative of what he's done for a quarter century now. He's brought us three titles. What is it? Six trips to the NBA finals now, right? How many, how many Eastern conference finals appearances, a boatload, how many division titles, a crap load of those, how many great moments, how many championship parades? I'm good, dude. I'm good. I'm not doing what we did to Shula. I just told you we haven't recovered from Shula, Joe Robbie, and Dan Marino. I just told you that. And we were so quick to push Shula out the door. All oh, the games passed him by. The games passed him by. You know what? We were assholes. What we had to do was give the old man some time to figure out the cap because the cap had just dropped. And that was a new thing that Shula was dealing with in his last couple of years. And he created a mess, but he probably would have learned from his mess and then tried to correct it. And we should have actually allowed him to do it instead of saying the game has passed him by. And then we learned the hard lesson that for 25 years, the guys that followed Shula, on Shula's worst day, he was still better than all those guys, Jimmy Johnson included. So. We screwed up. We should have never pushed Shula out. We should have let Shula, after everything he's done for us, we should have let allowed him to write his damn ticket whenever the hell he wanted to retire. And I promised myself that I would never do that again. And I'm not doing it to Pat Riley. I'm not doing it. There, he's brought us the same kind of enjoyment that Shula did. He was, he's been as dominant as Shula has been or was rest in peace, sir. So I'm not doing it to Pat Riley. Pat Riley, if he makes a mistake, we'll talk about it. I can critique him, but I'm going to back him up a thousand percent. And Pat Riley in my eyes can write his ticket whenever the hell he wants. If he wants to leave to Long Beach at the end of this year, God bless you, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you for what you've done for us. If he wants to leave in four years, then no problem. I'm here with you for the next four years, and I fear the day he has to walk out the door. Fear it, my brother. Fear it. Because there's no guarantee you will ever experience that again. The day Shula walked out was the day an era ended and an era that we all use as the crutch to the greatness of the Dolphins. Since then, the Dolphins have been pretty much an embarrassment. Just got to call it like I see it. Don't think you can produce the Shulas and the Rileys just like that. Okay? That, that stuff just does not happen. Once in a while, you're blessed and you get that iconic figure that can really get it done. Look at the University of Miami football team. They've always been a stepping stone for coaches. They can't keep anybody. Howard Schnellenberger, rest in peace, did not end up wanting to stay because he wanted the pros. Jimmy Johnson wanted the pros. Dennis Erickson wanted the pros. Butch Davis wanted the pros. And then all the other guys, forget about it after that. I mean, they, they couldn't even sniff the pros. 
You know what I'm saying? At least as head coaches. I know Al Golden was some tight ends coach or whatever with Detroit or whatever crap. But still, you know what I'm saying? It just don't be so quick to push Riley out the door. You have no idea what's coming next. I'm just telling you. Appreciate it, man. As uh, Remember, Riley's worst years practically are, are the years where you're, you're getting in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Seven, eight seed, six seed. And then very few times you've had those years that you've actually even missed the playoffs. But more often than not, bad years for Riley is that you're a lower seed. Take it easy, man. Appreciate it. Riley's a badass.